I'm Kathleen Henderson from Roots and Boots, and I want to show you my garlic scapes and how to harvest them. Garlic scapes are a bonus when you grow your own garlic. Not only do you get the garlic bulb, but before the bulb is ready to harvest, you get scapes. Scapes show up in late spring. I am in Northern Virginia in zone 7A, and my scapes show up starting mid to late May through early June-ish. And you can harvest the scape, in fact, you should harvest the scape because the scape is basically the garlic flower. All plants want to reproduce and create seed, and if you don't cut off the scape, then this stalk will eventually straighten out and produce a flower. So instead, it's like deadheading flowers to keep them blooming. We're going to cut off the scape and that tells the garlic to channel its energy into creating a bigger garlic bulb. Plus you get to use the scape so you can slice them up and use them just like you would use garlic. It's not as strong of a garlic flavor as the actual garlic bulb, but it's like a mild garlicky flavor and it's really nice. So I'll show you, all you do is cut off that stalk. I also think the scapes are just beautiful. They do a really cool spiral and you just cut it off. I'm using my lettuce knife. You can use whatever you like to use. The older the scape, the tougher this stalk will get and you won't want to use that. You won't want to eat that part. So it's best to harvest them on the early side while most of the stalk is still tender and edible. But then this part you can see is still pliable. So this is probably where I would cut it. And then you can cut up all the rest of this scape and again use it just like you would garlic. So while it is best to harvest them when they're still on the young side, you can stagger your harvest and harvest as needed. Just keep in mind that the older the scape, you know, the less of the stalk you'll be able to eat. So I've got a handful of scapes and I do recommend keeping them in the fridge and storing them in a large plastic bag if you can. That will help to keep the garlicky smell from permeating the rest of the fridge. And then once again, you can just slice them up and use them just like you would garlic.